guys, welcome to Bring Your Babs Be In The Now. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin Jamal Bryant. The speaker, Jamal Bryant, he's, I don't know what was going on at his church, but I'm going to share a video with you. I, this is witchcraft. That's just how I've seen it. Okay. But without further ado, I present to you Jamal Bryant. Here we go. He be all sent to behind. But you keep honoring the will of God for this house. And regardless of the people. Because the culture of this house will pull you opposite of the will of God. He said to behind. God trusts you with a generation. So to my yellow hoya. My God, yes, sir. I haven't been able to preach it yet. But there's a war that's going on in the buildings. And it's the war between the spirit of Ichabod and the latter glory. I ain't got time to preach. <laughs> yes. I, I don't know who this lady is. But all this is taking place at new birth. And this lady is prophesying. She is preaching. I don't know what. I, I, no, this, no, this is not her preaching. Whatever she's saying, bringing in a blessing. I, I don't know, a blessing to Jamal Blind. Is that what's going on? Uh, speaking, saying that there is a spirit of echo. But like, what does that even mean? Okay, those are the things that happen in Old Testament. How do we know that's what's happening at New Beth? Where is the evidence of that? Nothing. So you've never seen a bizarre worship like this. And the entire sermon was like this. It's too long. It was two hours. Obviously, we're not going to do that over here. So these are just the highlights of what took place here. I'll be sure to leave the whole video in the description so you guys can uh, see the whole shit out of guns. Okay, but let's continue to this woman. I don't know what language she's speaking at this point, but we continue. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, but they need to see the brokenness before God. That's what they need to see out of you. He said, oh, no, no, see, I know. He said, oh, no. One night of my presence here is not going to do it all. He said, oh, no, see, I He be all sent to my heart. But you keep honoring the will of God for this house. And regardless of the people. Because the culture of this house will pull you opposite of the will of God. He said, to my God trusts you with a generation. No, this woman is lying. Okay. This woman is lying. She said that God has trusted Jamal Brandt with this. Which generation? Which generation? Jamal Brandt is, as fo is, is a false teacher as they come. So why would God entrust his generation to somebody who, who, who is a false teacher like Jamal Bryant? Where is the evidence that, uh, that God has trusted his generation to Jamal Bryant? Mm? I don't know what this woman is say, saying, the language that she's applying over here. I have no clue. I have no idea. But there's people over there, okay? They are receiving this nonsense and they are celebrating it like it's, like it's nothing, okay? But this is, mind you, this is happening in the church. This is not worship at all. Okay, but let's continue. I ain't got time to preach that. That's the war. Because the spirit of Ichabod is dancing around. But the latter glory is saying, I'm here and ready to be released. We shut that behind. It's happening everywhere. But God says, I'm trusting you for the release of the latter glory. You gotta take a win, son. You gotta take a breath. God broke every protocol set in this house when he stood me up. Who does that? The Holy Ghost. No, that's not true. 
God, according to her, she says that God uh, uh, broke every protocol. Okay. How? How? Says who? Okay. God is the God of order. He's not a God of confusion. So why would God, quote unquote, um, the Holy Spirit, that's what she's saying, right? Broke protocol in his house of worship. Hello? Okay. That's not God that I save. That's not the God of the scriptures. So whatever this woman is creating over here, you're not going to find it anywhere in scripture. Okay. So this is, this, 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 this is demonic. Okay. The, the stuff that's going on over here, this is, uh, I don't know. I'm calling it. This is pretty much like voodoo worship. That's what was happening here. But this woman, she's not done guys. Okay. So let's continue. Didn't mean to be disrespectful. But he said, it's time to go. And I got lost in the Holy Ghost. I honor you. And every preacher, every pastor, every bishop, every woman, people of God. But God, see, Kiana, I feel the power of God in my hand. But if you're not going to release yourself to it, I'm not laying my hands on it. But it's what God wants tonight. That's why you call me. He said, I know I feel power, church. I need y'all to open your mouth. I need you to kneel, I need you to lift your hands. I need you to begin over your mouth and cry out to God. Hallelujah. Cry power. Cry fire. Come on over your mouth. One last time. So you can see everything that's going over here. It's uh, there's some manipulation that is going on. Nothing to do with quote unquote worship. And yet these people are there, uh, th they're thinking uh, this is worship, okay? They're thinking that they are worshiping right now. That's, this is not it, okay? By any stretch of uh, imagination. But what else can we expect uh Jamal Bryant's church, okay? Whenever we go to church, we go to church to what? To worship. We go there to hear from God, to hear the word of God. Because the word of God is preached with authority, okay, from the pulpit. They are opening the scriptures. This is, we are hearing that. Those are the things that we do when we go to church. A church is an assembly. It's a gathered body of, you know, saints with the same confession. These are the things that you're doing in church. It's not just you going. It's not just you playing the music. It's not just you uh, buying in into these emotions okay we have to remember whenever we are singing it's us we're singing to god right so singing it's us to god but the main thing that you want you want from god to you so from god to you is the word of god from god to you is the scriptures and first of all this woman shouldn't be up there to begin with okay so don't even get me started on that one now that she is there and jamo is there like oh, he's out here trying to be receiving whatever else she's saying uh, she's claiming that she has power, the power of the Holy Ghost. Which Holy Ghost? So everything that we are seeing over here, guys, uh, I'm sorry. This is uh, evil and demonic by <laughs> to its 10th degree, to its 10th degree. But this is Jamal Bryant, okay? He's well known to be doing stuff like this, okay? So let's listen in to what the preacher would say to this shenanigan, okay? Here we go. But we are an island, I think, in a fast-moving sea around us that is boiling over with pragmatism and man-centeredness. As a result, the evangelical movement today has largely abandoned true worship. Oh, there seems to be more and more quote-unquote worship music, sort of the last gasps of someone who is unable to worship while worship, quote-unquote, music increases, worship in reality decreases. That's what you're getting with uh, Jamo and this lady over here. There's nothing that's going on. All they're doing, they're busy playing uh, the music, okay, to incite people's emotions, and they're calling it worship. It's not. But we continue. I'm not going to bother you no more, but there's another week. This is the last one. That's under my assignment. There's another wind coming. Huh? The last one's tomorrow. Huh? But come on. Huh? There's another wind. Huh? Over your mouth. Huh? Cry. Glory. 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 Yeah. Glory. 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 Glory.
in your glory. Surround him 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 in your glory. Okay, guys, you get the point. So this lady, this is the worship surrounding, uh, uh, quote unquote, with your glory, surrounding Jamal Bryant, uh, you know, tackling him down on the floor. Okay. I don't know how he ended up falling with just a push by a woman. And then this woman is, you know, uh, I guess, you know, surrounding Jamal Bryant, uh, like Jericho wall, I guess, you know, running around. She came to preach to Jamal Bryant's church. I didn't see no Bible there. I not even an iPad. I didn't see anything. So this is what they are calling um, worship. This is not worship. This is it's all about her. Uh, it's all about the music. This is man centeredness for sure. This is not worship. Everything that's happening over here, it's it's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. You cannot be at this church. And then you think that this is worshiping. So the whole time they say you glory, repetitions, okay? They just repeat it. They're just saying mantras after mantra. This is not it. I'm like, what is going on over here, okay? Like, it's so, you know, this is what happens. Like, you know, um, they, there's witch doctors, right? So this is what witch doctors do. They, you know, they, it's kind of like she's doing some incantations. That's what's going on over here. But these things, they're just happening. They're happening in the church. It should not be so. Everything that took place over here, everything was out of order. There's just no two ways about it. Everything out of order. Okay. Uh, we have John 4 over here. Okay. John 4, 23. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Did you see any of that at this uh, at Jamal Bryant? Hmm? What type of worship was going on? Nothing. I did not see any worship over there. Okay. No, not the worship that we, uh, that goes to God. That's not how you worship the triune God. This is how you worship a man. This is a man-centeredness worship. This is whatever you, it was demonic, uh, some kind of, anything you can put in that basket. Romans 12, 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Did we get any of that during this, uh, the drama? Okay, this is nothing but drama. There was nothing here. There was, uh, there, there was, uh, there was no worship over here. The music is just to incite people. Do you, are you telling me if the music wasn't playing, people would be behaving that way? I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay. So, uh, what what were they doing over here? Everything that has been transpiring here is nothing but profane. They did not honor God. I don't know why she's busy screaming for your glory, for your glory, whatever she's screaming, whatever she's saying. What you know? So they've. Uh, They've taken the word of God in vain. They pretended to be worshiping. They were not worshiping. Everything that took place over here is not supposed to be taking place in the house of worship. These are the things that happen uh, in, um, <laughs> at the witch doctor's office. Okay. <laughs> then it did not stop there. And Jamal Bryant was offering some healing to people. If you go through this, if you go through here, you are receiving healing. So take a look at this. As they walked, they were healed. Come on, walk through it. New birth, open up your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth. I speak healing. Hold on, stop right there. Stop, stop, stop. Hallelujah. Uh, Vincent, give Apostle Good some oil for me. Thank you so very much. Hallelujah. Stop right there. Oh, you got it? Thank you. Hallelujah. Take it. Let me see. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. All right. Thank you. Stay right there with me. Thank you. Come on. You can begin moving. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. I speak healing over your body. I speak healing over your body. 
I speak healing over lift that hand. Lift that hand. I speak healing over your body. Abashata. Hallelujah. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Hallelujah. Lift up both of your hands. Lift up both of your hands. Hallelujah. I speak healing. That God is now straightening up every limb. So that 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 was the uh the theater. The circus that took place at new birth. So now you go through that. Uh, uh, Jamal Brandt is speaking healing. What type of healing is Jamal Brandt is going to speak? All these things are nothing but lies. They are nothing but lies. We go to worship to worship God in truth. So everything that took place there had nothing to do with truth. So there's no way God is going to bless the things that do not honor him. God is not a God of contradiction. Everything that took place there contradicts the word of God. There's no need for him to honor such things. But Jamal Bryant um, is the senior pastor of New Birth. So he's allowing all these things to be taking place at that church. So that church is a synagogue of Satan. That church now, I guess, you know, uh, it's voodoo uh, that was going on over there, like, as I call it, okay? Yes, you know. It was nothing there. Jamal brought bizarre voodoo worship. That's exactly what's happening at that church. That's exactly what's happening at the church. So it's unfortunate that uh, this is what people, this is what attracts people. People want to see these things because they think this is where the, the, the anointing, this is where the anointing is at. No, no, no. It's none of those things. And the lady who was leading worship, uh, uh, during worship, is she also leads worship at Porter House in Dallas, Texas. So I was just like, wow, these people are just so connected, okay? So if you're home and dry leading worship at TDJX, you have no problem also leading worship at, uh, at Jamo Bryant, okay? So it's it's unfortunate, but, you know, this is what's um, what's happening. This is what's happening, okay, at New Beth. A new birth. So that's not a place to be at. Okay? So remember, we are Christians. We cannot compromise even the places that where we go to worship at. So pray for people who are caught up in this type of ministry. There's people who are just caught up in this type of ministry because they just don't know. They just don't know. But there are people who are sitting there because they like to accumulate false teachers who will be tickling them in their ears. So by them sitting there, it's judgment to themselves. Okay? So these things can go to ways. Other people, they're just there. They just don't know. They're just there. But the other people are there. They are willing participants. So for those, it's judgment to themselves. As for Jamo, he's a teacher. Uh, if he doesn't repent, a stricter judgment awaits him. Awaits him. That's what the scripture teaches. But what you guys think about this whole debacle, about this whole circus, whatever was going on there, I'm interested to know. All right, guys, that's all that I had for you guys today. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.